And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Chicago Cubs. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Mike Trout. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about set to go now, and on the hill, Cade Horton. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to Leading bring that ERA down, because you know in the, the back of his baseman. mind, beyond Nico the W, he wants to Horner. have a better earned run average. Here's Nico Horner. The pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the 0 1. That's and that's outside. The 1 1 is fouled off. The one two. Well, two balls, two strikes. Three. It misses, it's a strikeout. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level playing at night. Ball Inside one. almost got him. Horton, 6'1 no righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. One out, base is empty. And that one ripped into right. Makes the catch for the out. Take a look at the lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Bryson Stock. This guy had an on-base percentage of over 400 last month. That's just telling you, he's taking his walks, he's getting his knocks, he's finding some holes. Everything just going really well for him right now. But don't overlook the fact that that happens because he's having consistently good at-bats. Bryce Harper, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Two out spaces empty. And it's fouled away. Foul ball still 0-2. Two down, nobody on. One ball, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. In the air, right field. Settles under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the third out. On to the bottom of the first. No score. And we're 
back. And on the mound for Philadelphia in this one, Zach Wheeler. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Here's Trey Turner. The line of the pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And Aye. strike two. Oh, two is the count. Offering misses down and away. The wind of the pitch. Not close with that one. Now two and two. There's a swing and a drive. That's going back. Back some more. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. And it's a double to start the bottom of the first. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Here is Devers, homered last night, added another hit as well. Mm -hmm. Off All the one. mark there, and it's one to no. And batter waits. Little chopper rolls foul. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground, the first. Harper takes it himself. Oh. One gone, bottom half of the first. That is good. Time now for the Chicago Cubs lineup. Wow. And a big part of it, a guy with a great track record, Mike Trout. He's near the top of the league in RBIs, and he's become a guy that they can count on to come through in big spots, and he has not disappointed. Man, pretty impressive. Top five in RBI in the National League. Here's Mike Trout. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. That one is upstairs. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Swing there. One ball, two strikes. Mm -hmm. 
The one two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And he deals. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he runs it first and third. And next will be the cleanup hit. Nolan Jones, fourth on the batting average leaderboard in the National League. And a strike on the outside edge. Well, this is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. That misses. And that is ball one. Ball, two one. Going to lay off that pitch down. Turner, the runner at third. Trap at first. One gone. Two balls. Two In the dirt, but kept close. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. Here comes a pitch. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Wheeler with the throw over, no, he's and he's back in safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And here it comes. Out there to center. Kate has this one sized up. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. He'll score on the sack fly. And it's 1 0. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and yeah. don't overcomplicate yeah. things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play. And a nice job with the sack fly. Bobachette gets a chance to hit. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Outside low, and that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. One run across in the frame so far here in the second game of the series. Out to short. Stop over oh. the first in time. And Bichette is retired. And that is that. So a run on one hit. No errors and a man left. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley. It's the Cubs one and the Phillies nothing. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now Kyle. it's the DH, Kyle Schwarber. Horton back to work. Hey. Out of the corner for a strike. And it's 0-1. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. He'll do it himself. One out in the second. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. For a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Mm -hmm. 
One down, Phillies down a run. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. They can live up in the zone all game, and hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Some high keys for strike three. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. JT Real Muto steps in. Good power, not great in the OBP department. First pitch, ball. and he just misses. Counts 1-0. and oh. hey. Big swing and a miss. Man, he was really ball, tardy strike. on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. The Phils trailing by a run here at the top of the second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Phillies down in order. They trail here, one nothing. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. There's a strike. And Naylor swings through that one. No ball, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, that's down and away. One ball, two strikes. The one, two. Two, two, the count. Down on strikes, and there's one away. Dansby Swanson stands in. Dansby Swanson. And first offering is fouled off. Down, base is empty. Foul off left side. And yeah, the right hander deals. Three. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And the batter now, Bo Naylor. Ground ball up the middle. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. But they're on top, 1 0. Third inning. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. 
Alec Bowen. Yeah, the right hander back to work. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Late on that fastball. One and one. And he sneaks through that one. Tie a guy up like that, and you're feeling like you are in command. The pitch. And that one in the air center field. That gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit nope, hard enough to dunk something in like that ball in front one, of the no center point. fielder. And that one fouled off. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. The 1-1. Here goes the runner. Pitch misses. Pro save! Really nice swipe a second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher. Because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat him. The Cubbies up by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And fouled off. Oh, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. Man, it's second. That's hard hit on the line. This looks like extra bases, and that's going to get into the corner. Around from second is the tying run. It's 1-1, one -one. and he's got himself a triple. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice line drive to the full side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Jake Cave. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate. Only two hits over the last five games. Ball Outside. That and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. That's ball two. This is a situation where the hitter is looking no for friend. something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Tied up here in the early going. He deals. Ground ball to the right side. One away as the second run of the inning scores. So important to really lock in on an at bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. He's 0 for 1. For a strike, going on.
Still only one out here in the inning. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Right into the plate. And takes low for ball one. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. And yeah, there's two away. Now back left field. Brandon Mark. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. He's over one. Fastball hey. for a strike. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play. Oh, that really, really good swing right, right there. He got a pitch that he right. knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. up left side has a beat on it and that'll do it but two runs for him and they jump ahead we move on to the bottom of inning number three it's the Phillies two and the Cubs one and welcome back Leading to the ballpark the as we go to the, the last fielder. of the third. Here's a big power threat. Byron Buxton. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The right-hander back to work. Pass hey. ball for a strike. 0-1. Oh 0-1. Oh Kicks and fires. That one misses, and the count is one and one. Five in the zone, and a called strike. Struck him out. One out. Well, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Trey Turner at the plate. Corner over to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Up next to the Cubs, the third baseman, Rafael. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. 0 for 1 so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Two outs. Just nope. missed. 
When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. The Cubs down by a run here in the last half of the third. Hey. see you win. Two one. fouled off. Two down, nobody on. That one hit to right. Castellanos makes the catch, and that'll do it. Set to lead Kyle. off the fourth, Kyle Ooh. Schwarber. And a pitch. Hey. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Schwarber, a former All-Star. 31 years old, and though usually in left field today, he's the designated hitter. A little bit high, and it's one and one. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps him to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. Surprisingly, just locked him up in the box. And digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And a foul ball. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. And the pitch. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. And a pitch. That one, one not close. And a count one and two. And they'll do it again. Fights that one away. Still one and two. down base is empty and a base hit right there oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat 107 was the exit velocity and at that speed it's going to be a great result more often than not one gone runner at first and up to the plate is JT Real Muto Run around the move. Swing and a pop up. Now territory for the catcher. Takes it in for the out. Going to have to have a little more yeah, discipline yeah. in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you yeah. can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or a weak contact in the infield. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. 
One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Castellanos, the runner at first with two gone. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. That one, one way outside. Two now one and two. The pitch. Way two outside. Two ball strikes. two. Righty delivers. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Gets down for a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. That's back to back singles for him. Good pitch. Slider down and away. Just stayed down and threw it nicely. It's such an easy pitch to pull off of because you're probably thinking fastball down the middle initially. First and second, two down. This is Bryson Stott. One for one. He tripled in his first trip. Swing and a miss as he was late. He can get through oh, this one. one. Put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. First and second, two down. Here are the second game of the series. Oh, Missed inside, inside with the curve. Two on, two outs. That one to first, Naylor. He takes it Got himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Phillies two, and the Cubs one. Bottom of the fourth, here's some real power at the plate. Mike Trout. Mike. Wow. pitch foul ball there you'll one right yeah. through there for a strike goodness I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat you don't get many like that in that location I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound And he deals. There he goes down looking. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone. Attack mode all the way. And that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Nolan Jones, the next cup to him. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. And that one fouled off.
Home team down a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Oh, and that's okay. outside. And one and one. And a pitch. Towards first. And he can't come up with it. Up next to the top. The designated hitter. Runner on at first with one gone. And next for the Cubs, Bobichet. Help Warner. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. And he'll move up to second, no problem. Should be a pass ball, and that takes away the double play. This is something that'll happen to him from time to time behind the dish. Uh, the defense is a part of his game he's trying to improve. But right there, just couldn't squeeze it, and it cost him. Runner at second here, one gone. One finds the zone and a count one and one. Up the middle. Throws the first in time. And Machette is retired. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And now the first baseman, Josh Naylor. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Misses inside. Ball one. Left-hand batter waits. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Just missed. comes a pitch. Ball, that's not good. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. At the belt and fires. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself oh. to the bag and that'll do it. Cubs leave one. They're down two to one. Back here at Wrigley Field, new inning getting started. And now for the Phillies, Jake Payne. Horton back to work. That one misses the zone. Ball one. You know, these fills, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with the work. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Makes the catch up against the wall. They hammered that to straightaway center field. It's a deep part of the ballpark. Tell you what, that wind is blowing straight in. Got to be a big man if you're going to go through the wind of that part of the park. It just knocked that ball down. Corner. Hey. Got it with 
one down takes a strike base is empty one away and we're at the top of the fifth out towards left center Buxton sizing it up makes the catch and there's two away now back left field Brandon two outs base is empty so digging in now for Philadelphia Brandon March one for two there's a strike on one two down nobody on here in the second game of the series that one at 95 missed up top. And yeah, that's ball one. Wouldn't that's chase that two. time. Swing and a ball popped up. Swanson brings it in and that is that three up three down for Philadelphia they lead it 2 one and we're back Leading now up. Dansby Walter Swanson that's your shot Dansby Walter. pitch on the ground and that chance handled to first just got him on that one showing us right there why he's considered one of the best middle infielders in the sport it's always a tough play going up the middle on the backhand but what really made this play happen was that quick release smooth exchange and that was as smooth as it gets and it had to be with the wheels going down the line now, here is Bo Naylor. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. One down, base is empty. That's inside. And now it's even one and one. And here it comes. That one fouled off. The Phillies leading by a run. Last half of inning number five. That missed by a lot. And that's ball two. Wind in the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. And another ball. And here's a 3-2. Struck him out looking. Here's Byron Buxton. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that ball. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. The wind of the pitch. And that ball one's one. a little bit low. And that is ball one. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Now 
there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Cubs are down quietly. And our score remains 2-1. Top six, leading off, leading off Bryce Harper. Number three, Bryce Harper. The line to kick the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Some hitters are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Left hand hitter waits. Hammer, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now that Kyle hitter. Schwarber comes up Kyle. to hit here. Schwarber. Ball and the one. first pitch misses for ball, ball one. one. No strike. Hater deals to the right side, and that squirts through. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. One finds the zone, and that's strike one. First and second, no outs, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Hey. Swing and a miss. The count is 0 and 2. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And he'll 2. That one just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that. That's as close as it gets. Harper over at second. Schwarber on at first with nobody out. That's the third. And he grabs it in foul ground. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. The one-two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Now it's going to be JT Real ball. Muto. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. One out. Runners at first and second. That's in there. And it's one and one. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Two on, one out. 
Yeah, there's a ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Kicks and deals. Yeah, that, that one misses. Three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Runners at first and second with one gone. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. And there's ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. Starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Here comes Craig Council, and we're going to see a pitching change. Cade Horton won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Mason Miller. Really tough spot to come into out of the bullpen. Bases loaded with multiple outs to get in a tight ball game. A lot can happen right here. Boom. In the box now. Take strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get... did right there one out base is full oh, just that? missed movement in the Cubs bullpen Lucas Airsick the hard throwing righty is up and loosening It's a line drive out that doesn't score a run, and it takes away the opportunity for that sacrifice fly. You can't ask for much more. That's the outcome they wanted. Now it's the shortstop, Bryson Stop. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First offering, okay. and it just misses. And a good eye there. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in a run. He's got to challenge the hitter right here.
The hitters count the 2-0. Nope, outside. Well, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. a slider for a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Turner. In plenty oh. of time to first out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. So the Cubs bullpen does its job nicely there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies two and the Cubs one. Back here at the friendly we'll confines. We'll the bottom of the sixth inning. Looks up now beat. for Chicago. Trey Turner. Right-hander back to work. And one finds the zone. That's strike one. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Josh Stama up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Miley also getting ready. And the righty deals. Fouled off. He was late. down and in. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty to the plate. And that ball for a base hit. Off to a good start for the leadoff now. Well, they didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Blared it out there and got it to drop for a base hit. I think he got it out the handle just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. No outs. Runner at first. Here's Rafael Devers. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Wheeler checks over to first, and he's back. Yeah. And a strike to Devers. 0-1. And a pitch. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Real neutral throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying. No home run so far. So trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. With the tying run at second here in the bottom of the sixth. got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Man at second. Bang. He's down looking. 
Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. And up next for Chicago, Mike Trout. That one in there to Mike Trout. All one to the count. Turner leads off second with one gone in the inning. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. One ball, There's one a ball. Break. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there for the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, still in third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. There's a swing and a miss. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. That one misses. And the count is two and two. Kicks and fires. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Runner on to third, one gone. strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the now offensive that. side of the game, right? I mean, missed oh, opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third and one out. Couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. And here is Nolan Jones. In there and it's on one. Spot. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Two outs with a runner at third. And a count one and two. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And that is that. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the seventh. And now for the Phillies, Jake Payne. Miller, 25 years old. And he was a third-round pick in 2021. And the pitch. Just oh, missed. Counts. Pitch That's misses. The and the count is 2-0. Slider in there for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. 
Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Trout makes the grab. One down. The batter number two. Second baseman. Nico Horner digs in now. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. That yep, misses that the zone. One and oh. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And there's a foul ball. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Righty delivers. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage count. arms at the back end. Base is empty one away. Here at the top half of inning number seven. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Naylor drifts towards it. Reaches over the wall, and he's got it. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. And it looked really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. One for three. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. One, one. Two down, nobody on. Just oh, missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. There's a rocket into the outfield. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So two down, and now it's going to be Bryce Harper. Outside, ball one. The two-hole hitter showing so much versatility, understanding the situation, gets on base with two out to bring possibly the best hitters in this lineup up to the plate in this inning. The pitch. That's hey. in there, and it's one and one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That fell. A swing and a soft liner. That's a base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Hey. And that one is in for a strike. Oh, one's the count.
outside low, and the count is one and one. One and one. The pitch. Wouldn't Three chase ball. that one time. Three. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And a pitch. Swings hey. through that one for strike two. Marsh, the lead runner out at second. Harper at first, two out of the inning. half of the seven and here's the DH for the Cubs Bobichet and still looking for that hit to keep this streak going and this might be his last shot at it boo mm -hmm. the pitch mm -hmm. for a strike going along some bullpen Hold action one. for Philadelphia Jeff Hoffman a right-hander with big strikeout stuff is getting it fired up Dominguez also throwing Looking to get the tying run on base. And he grounds one to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. And now Josh Naylor. No strikes. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Fought off foul. Left-hand batter waits. Right through there for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. In the air out to center, Kate in position. And it's caught for the out. The batter number eight. Good job. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dansby Swanson. Pitch misses, and it's one to know. Stop takes a ball. Two outs. That yeah. one's in there. And a count two and one. Two ball, one strike. And a pitch. Left field. Marsh on the move. Brings it in for the third out. And we're back. We're at the top of the eight. Now it's the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. Now, Wade Miley 
Just trying to keep this one close here, and this now, is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight one. back into the game. Wade. Here comes a pitch. That Ball. misses. Ball one. Count Movement one in the oh. Cubs bullpen. Josh Stamont up and throwing for manager Craig Council. The one on. -oh. There's a strike. Here it comes. Bows it off. Still one and two. And he deals. Breaking ball inside. The count now two and two. the ground to the Red left ball. and that's just foul on the ground to Devers and that's oh. one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth now that JT. here's the, the catcher JT Real Muto it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Outside corner, there's a strike. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Nice ball for a strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. One down, base is empty. Just nope, misses with that one. Now the lefty. And yeah, that skips into there. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. You're having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Fights it off. You'll see another. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you gotta love this battle. Just wondering who's gonna blink first. And that's ball four. That's ball it four. wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. When you go that deep into it at bat, no, no. the hitter usually comes out on top. Now the third baseman, Alec Bull. 
a former first round pick and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. No, it's just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now the shortstop, Rice and stop. That That's one off the mark. Work. And that is ball one. Kicks and deals. And now two and nothing. Two and oh. Runners at first and second with one gone, and we're in the top of the eighth. The Whoa, next pitch misses, and now 3-0. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Jake Payne next to bat for Philadelphia. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Inside ball four. four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's the center fielder, Jake Payne. Hey. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. Immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Oh. The next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. Base is loaded, one away. Strike slider, start at middle away, let it break and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with a cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, but I think he was also a little lucky right there. So digging in, Nico Horner. Hey. And the pitch is in for a strike. One long. That's outside. Bases loaded, two down. Here in the second game of the series. And he's winning the miss. One ball, two strikes. Swing a high fly ball deep left field. Buxton on the move, racing back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So they load the bases on just one hit, but can't get anyone across. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Cubs one. Back now, new 
pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jeff Hoffman. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Leading off. Bo Naylor getting ready to hit. The catcher. Bo Naylor. The pitch. Swung on, ball two. Kate on a dead sprint, racing back. Grabs it right up against the wall. Man, he hammered that one to center. I thought it was out of here, but Wynn just absolutely killed it. Byron Buxton, the next to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Missed. Ball one, no strike. Holding on to a one run lead here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. At the belt and fires. Popped up. Drifts towards it. Makes the grab. Two down. No matter. Number seven. Second baseman. Trey Turner. Back to the top of the lineup. Trey Turner. The next cup to hit. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Two down. Nobody on. Not ball, close with three. that one. One and one. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball there. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. And they trail it here, two to one. Back here at Wrigley Field, and the batter down, Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh. Miley back to work. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. And now the count is even. Kicks and fires. Up and in. And the count's even at two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The 
wind of the pitch. That's off the mark, and now it's three and two. Center field. Trap puts it away for the out, and there's one down. The first base number three. Right. Bryce Harper to the plate. Harper. Swing and a foul straight back. Chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Ball chase one. that time. One ball, two strikes, it's down. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That ball misses the zone, ball and it's two and two. Swing and he held up. Back to the mound. He's got it. Tosses the first. Harper retired. Now that Two Not outs, base is empty. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Hey. Strike one. Oh, and one. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Nope. Just missed. Fly ball out to center field. Buxton moves under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Two, three, four set to hit in the bottom of the nine. It's the Phillies two and the Cubs one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Jose Alvarado. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Rafael Devers up to it. for three. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. pitch swing and a tapper that rolls foul Close. Gonna count one and two. Good eye right there. It's a good take. 
One run game, bottom nine. Three. Got him swinging. Well, the first batter, it's always now a big one for the closer. Sure. I mean, you get that punch no. out, you get settled in, you well. feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Sliced hard, but foul. Now, Blue, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. And a pitch. Ball, that's out. Lifted in the air, right center field. Castellanos on his horns. Nice grab on the run. Two down. The battle. The right fielder. No way. So it's their last chance in this no one. Way. Now the Cubs' four-hole hitter, Nolan Jones. Known for his late-inning heroics. There's a strike. Good heater at 98. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Oh, just missed. A one run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. Ground ball left side. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Phillies even this series up in a game apiece. Every team wants a reliable closer, and that's exactly what he delivers for his squad. They expect to win when he's on the mound at the end of the ball game, and he just produced his 25th save of the year. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies, two runs, ten hits, no errors, they left 11 runners on base. For the Cubs, one run on three hits, no errors, they left three runners on base.